Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. In childhood, both the boy and girl have the high-pitched voice. But after puberty, the male voice becomes low-pitched and thicker. In some boys, after puberty, the boys may fail to become low-pitched like this. Or, I mean... This failure and change of childhood high pitched voice to low pitched male voice after puberty in boys is called puberophonia. But the boy's physical and sexual development is normal. It is also known as adolescent transitional voice disorder and mutational falsetto voice. So what is the pathophysiology behind? Until puberty, the larynx of male and female have identical dimensions. They both have high-pitched voice, but after puberty, male larynx grows rapidly. The vocal cord lengthens and brings change in character of male voice that is the low pitched voice in boys the transition takes 18 months to 3 years and is usually completed by the age of 14 when this change in larynx fails to occur at due age in male puberphonia occurs in puberphonia the larynx tends to be held high in the neck, thereby shortening the vocal tract. The cricoid cartilage is usually tilted backwards and the vocal folds remain too lax. The vocal folds are stressed and thin with minimal mucosal webs. The cricothyroid muscle remains excessively contracted. So what kind of boys are in the risk group? It is seen in boys who are emotionally mature, feel insecure, and show excessive fixation to their mother. Psychologically, they seem to avoid male responsibilities. These patients are treated with voice therapy. In voice therapy, the body is trained to produce low pitched voice. Interestingly, when the thyroid prominence is pressed backward and downward direction, then male type of voice is produced. আমার বয়স 20 বছর আমি আফজুদ্দিন কলেজে পড়াশোনা করি আমার বাড়ি ধামরাই আমি ইন্টার সেকেন্ডারি পড়াশোনা করি আমার বাড়ি বাসা ধামরাই বয়স 20 বছর আমার বাসা ধামরাই আমার বয়স 20 বছর সো দ্য پیشنট হু হ্যাড ফিমেল ভয়েস ইজ নাও প্রোডিউসিং মেল টাইপ অফ ভয়েস after pressing over the thyroid prominence in the backward and downward direction. This is known as Gutman's pressure test. This is because this pressure relaxes the overstressed cords and low tone voice is produced. By this, the patient can train himself to produce male type of syllables, words, and numbers. Occasionally, botulinum toxin is injected into the cricothyroid muscle to improve the condition. Type 3 thyroplasty, which is also known as relaxation thyroplasty, can be done in failed speech therapy. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.